These party people, with deep love and great respect, I greet you at the sunrise of yet another year. Happy, happy, happy 2014. Welcome to another year of profound magic and miracles. Welcome to the year of collaboration and contribution. Last year was all about relationships and resources, and we were invited to experience another level of abundance and prosperity in our respective and collective realities through the examination of our relationship to everything and everyone. This year, we are being called together in ways we could have never imagined and with people whom we would least expect because there is work to be done and we are the ones to do it. The charge we face to unite is not an easy one because we have lived in a culture and economy that has prided itself on a mythology of scarcity and separation. And it is through this prided mythology that the arbitrary ranking of our inherent value as human beings has been established. And this ranking and its arbitrary criteria occurs for many of us as fixed. Be it gender, race, ethnicity, sexual orientation, physical and or mental capabilities. And then there are the things that we aspire to acquire in order to approve our standing, like money, education, beauty, fame, influence, or physical power. And our preoccupation with that aspiration has caused many of us to lose sight of ourselves and each other. This year, the message is clear, no more. Our success and longevity in all things relies on our ability to heal the divides that live in our entrenched conditioning, to step away from the facades of rank and bring our humanity back into the center where it belongs. Collaboration allows us to recognize that we are in relationship to ourselves, to each other, and to the planet. It is about seeing the infinite strands of interconnectivity that weave throughout our respective and collective stories. It is about knowing that we are far stronger together than we could ever be apart when we are in right relation. Contribution invites us to come to loving terms with the fact that what we do has an impact. And that impact ripples far beyond what the eyes can see. Whether in relationships of love, convenience, or otherwise, what we say and what we do matters. What we choose and where we choose from matters. This year's charge comes at a time when we are bearing witness to the best and worst of our conditioned nature. Our recovery is being stalled by the push and pulls of multiple interests battling for space, creating the false dichotomies that have us believe that our ability to be whole is irreconcilable, that our ability to be just and compassionate is unattainable, and that our ability to sustain that which sustains us is inconsequential. Well, the message this year is clear. No more. This year, we are being called to bear witness to our greatness, to our magnificence, to our benevolence, to see the beauty in all that we are and all that we have to offer, especially when we are in communion. Collaboration in contribution. Contribution in collaboration is the thing that will unite, propel, and sustain us all. So what will it take 
to bridge these divides within and among us? And what will it take to transform these perpetual states of frustration, fatigue, and apathy? We must come with the virtues of willingness. The willingness to heal all of the places where we have internalized the mythology of scarcity and separation. A willingness to create, to own our power to forge a new reality. A willingness to remember and honor our individual and collective bounty. The willingness to appreciate, to engage the law of reciprocity, giving and receiving in every interaction. The willingness to engage in multiple currencies, human, social, intellectual, physical, and financial capital. A willingness to be in relationship, to see the value in every interaction, in exploring our relationship to everything and everyone. The willingness to bring our very best. And finally, a willingness to choose love above all. As you engage in the new year, ask yourself, where am I being called to greater contribution? And what will it require for me to bring my best? Where am I being invited to a new form of collaboration? And what may need to be healed in order for me to bring my whole self. And finally, as I examine my willingness, where do I see an opportunity to take it higher? Welcome the opportunities to practice this year. And as you interact, stay in your highest commitment. Practice the virtues of willingness and keep expanding from the heart. As my beloved Lori Hanu says, embrace your wholeness. Honor your humanity. Revel in our equality. And celebrate the bounty of our collective wisdom. This is your girl, Ra. Happy, happy, happy New Year.